250 cases came to our facility and I also took pictures of the bloody instrument. A whole chunk of just tissue and blood. No way, I've never seen it before. This is literally my first time. What is up my fellow sterile processing technicians? It is Rico, the sterile processing tech. If you don't know, my name is Rico. I've been doing this for almost about a year. I'm a CRCST, a certified registered central service technician, other known as a sterile processing technician. I am here today to share my worst experience as a sterile processing technician. Now, if you do not know, sterile processing is made out of different compartments. You got decontamination, you got sterad, you got steam, you got the assembly part, which involves prep and pack. Being a sterile processing technician is very spontaneous. You don't know where you're gonna be at that day. They might have you somewhere random. Now, this particular day, I was in decon, and this day was very heavy. I'm talking about like over 250 cases came to our facility. Now, I am on an offsite. An offsite versus a hospital is we don't have to deal with the patients, we don't have to deal with the doctors, we don't have to deal with the surgical techs calling us, running up there for instruments. Like, we're by ourselves, we just get the work done and send it back to the hospitals. Now we got multiple hospitals that send us stuff. I think we have like three to five hospitals. I'm not sure how many hospitals send us their stuff, but we got different variety of hospitals sending us their stuff and we send it back. You know, because sometimes the hospital may not be able to get it done or they have too many cases. So they send it to us and we send it right back and we're in partnership with them. So being inside decon this day, sometimes being decon, the trays be very bloody. Now as a sterile present technician, your tray is not supposed to be very bloody filled with tissue and all this other stuff. No, at the facility, it must be already pre-sprayed and pre-treated before it gets to you. Because if it sits that long, especially when it's coming from another facility, it sits in a truck, it sits in a dock, it sits, it sits a lot. It sits about an hour to two hours before it gets to us. And now the blood all kicked up, it's all dry, and we gotta soak it for longer times. And that's gonna slow down the process for assembly on the other side and give assembly poor quality trays. But long story short, I had got an LND set. LND means labor and delivery. Basically, that's when it's a surgery for a mother or um, just a procedure involving birth or just with females. Now, one thing about decon is you have to disassemble everything. You have to disassemble everything because you don't know where the blood is at inside these instruments. Now, this particular instrument that I had was a Gray's Vaginal Speculum. This tool opens the vaginal area for the females. Now, I was looking at the tray. I'm like, damn, this tray is pretty bloody. Like. This tray is bloodier than usual. So, you know, I soaked the tray and then I was separating the instruments. I was disassembling everything. So when I picked up this instrument, a whole chunk of just tissue and blood, cartilage, everything was in there. I'm like, no way, I've never seen it before. This is literally my first time seeing something like this. I ain't know trays get, I don't know, I ain't even know it get that bloody during surgeries. Like, I thought it was the Yankers. The Yankers are annoying because you got flush all of them, but this was crazy. Like, a whole big chunk of tissue. It couldn't but fit down the sink. Like, I had to throw it in the red bio bin. Like, it, it was that bad. And I also took pictures of the bloody instrument that was in the OR. I don't know if you two could let me show this, but here we go. I'm gonna put it up on the screen too, but I took like four like four pictures of it like that is literally now warning before i show you this video this is graphic content be advised feel free to skip this next 15 to 20 seconds of the video if you don't want to see the blood or the tissue this is surgical educational content youtube please don't flag this video So when that happens, it's a scan barcode. So 
it's a barcode to scan that oh this tray was very bloody and it's gonna let that entity know that whoever was on that case they're gonna get in trouble because they're supposed to pre-treat the instruments if they fail to pre-treat the instruments they get in trouble on their end so make sure you let your manager know or whoever in charge the lead whoever know so they can take a picture scan the barcode and send it back to the entity saying yo this tray wasn't pre-treated it's making our process harder for our technicians to you know get your trays done and the sterile process technicians night you're supposed to see all that crazy stuff it's supposed to be pre-treated at the hospital i'm not saying it's supposed to be perfect it always gonna have a little blood on the instruments but when it's that bad to how we're supposed to like what are we supposed to do with a fat chunk of tissue inside the instruments like that is the most annoying part like we gotta now the thing is not every day is going to be perfect as a sterile processing technician every day is going to be different every day is going to be a new problem a real easy job don't be scared of the blood like i look at the blood and stuff as washing dishes like that's what i look at that's like strawberries or just anything red fruit punch like I'm so used to it now versus when I first started. It's like, oh, it's a piece of tissue, it's a piece of blood. Like, I don't, but I don't even care no more. Like, it don't ick me out. Like, it don't gross me out like how it it was. Like when you first start, you be like, uh, blood. People trying to scare you. Uh, you better be ready for decon. But no, don't be scared. It's not that bad. It's not no eyeball coming out your tray. There's not no heart coming out your tray. There's not a leg in your tray. No, it's not that bad. It might be a little bit of tissue or it might be some, just some blood. Like, you know, a piece of hair. You know, the hair might get out the, you know, the surgery. Like, don't be scared. Um, it's, it's, it's just little. You're going to get used to it. And by the time you keep on doing these trays and decon, knocking them out, cleaning them out, you're just going to be like, okay, just a little bit of blood, you know. And it might be a lot of blood and you just normally, okay, I'll get this out. Because at the end of the day, we are here to service the patients, you know. Um, and just make it as clean as we can as possible, you know. You got to work with what you got. But yeah, that was the worst experience that I had like I was scared to touch the instrument at first like that was my worst experience as a sterile process technician being in decon seeing a big chunk of let me know your sterile processing horror story down below in the comments if you're a sterile process technician because that was crazy like comment subscribe get us to 10k subscribers and I'll get y'all some more videos. So let me know. Keep showing love. I appreciate all the love and support y'all been showing me. I'm going to get to answer all y'all questions when I get a chance. Peace out.